What's happening y'all? So today I wanted to do a quick little tutorial to show y'all how to fish these Paul Brown lures right here. So these Paul Brown lures are some of the best lures for fishing these flats right here behind me or just for getting on big old speckled trout, redfish, snook, uh, really all of our inshore game fish. But today I'm gonna show y'all not only how to fish it, some techniques, and then also just some like little pro tips. Uh, you know, the Paul Brown, typically when people like start fishing, they'll fish like a soft plastic. And then after they catch some fish, they'll move to like a hard plastic, like a mirroring. Paul Brown is a mirror lure bait. It's made by mirror lure, but it's like a combination between a soft plastic and a hard plastic. So I really like the Paul Browns because it's just like a mix between a soft plastic and a hard plastic. So you get like the action of both and you just have a little bit more flexibility because like with a hard plastic you can only do but so much the benefit of like a soft plastic is you can kind of like work it through all parts of the water column you can jig it on the bottom you can slow roll it the cool thing with the paul brown is you can kind of do a mix of both so you can do like the twitch twitch pause like the typical mirror lure jerk bait type uh, technique or you can also jig it like a jig. So let me just go ahead and show you all some of the most popular techniques. So obviously you wanna cast it out once you get it casted out. So this is like one of the best lures for fishing over top of oyster beds, um, grass flats, and just fishing on shallow flats. So that's why this lure is very popular in Texas. It's also really popular in my home fishery in Virginia Beach, North Carolina. There was a big blow up right there. We might catch a fish during this tutorial. So the Paul Brown lure has an awesome action to it. Um, so you can do the twitch, twitch pause. Uh, you can point your rod tip down to, you know, just help your lure to sit a little deeper in the strike zone. You can also jig it, like I said, just like a soft plastic. What I like to do with the Paul Brown, as soon as I cast it out, uh, I do like to give it a little bit of time to, you know, let it get down into the water column. But it's really important with the retrieve of a Paul Brown is that, and this is why I'm wearing my GoPro, so I'm gonna show you guys some first person stuff too, is you want to, like with a jerk bait and a hard plastic, you could pretty much just do it on a slack line. So with a Paul Brown, you kind of want your line to be a little bit more tight because the Paul Brown, let's see if we can get this on the camera. Okay, so as you see, it like sinks, pop, sink, pop. But it kind of like has a, it's almost like a jerk shad motion in the water. So it has an awesome like erratic action to it. Um, but, so if you like jerk it like totally on a slack line, you're still gonna catch fish like that. But what I like to do is I like to just give it like a subtle like twitch. And then after I twitch it to just reel it up and that way, when you jerk it, the lure will face forward, but it's still gonna have that erratic action to it. I really like the Paul Browns because it's a very similar action to like a jerk shad soft plastic. So that's all I do, just cast it out. And so you can get it right next to grass flats, right next to oyster beds, things like that. So, and then I like to just do like subtle little twitches of the rod, just like that. You don't need to um, do like, say with a hard plastic, maybe you can do some more aggressive pops, but with a Paul Brown, it doesn't have to be that aggressive. So I'm showing y'all my GoPro right now, but it's just like some subtle twitches of the rod, just like this. And as I twitch it, I'm reeling down and it's just giving this lure a really, really nice action. So with the Paul Brown, there's, like I said, I really like it because there's just a lot more flexibility to the technique and to how you work it. Um, and you guys, some of the biggest trout are caught on a Paul Brown. So you can also jig it up like this, kind of up, like keep it up in the water column. So you can point your rod tip more vertical. You can point your rod tip up and that's gonna give it more of that action of it kind of swimming up. And that 
looks really awesome because it kind of looks like a mullet or something like that trying to you know like get away or just trying to escape a threat of a predator fish and that just really entices a bite so you also can uh, point your rod tip up when you're fishing over top of like a shallow shallow like in Texas you guys are fishing in like literally like a foot and a half feet deep so here's like a few little like pro tips with the Paul Brown so you got really there's like two popular paul browns so you have the what i'm fishing with right now this is the paul brown original right here and then you have this is the paul brown fat boy so the fat boy really really like this uh you know honestly um this this one's just like a little bit more of a slim profile uh so this right here does mimic like just a finger mullet and this is like tell me right there that does not that looks just like a finger mullet and it's literally like a jerk shad soft plastic with treble hooks so it has a wire through the middle part of the bait and so this wire allows you let me turn off my trolling motor so this wire allows you to you can bend the tail down like this you can bend it up you can even bend it to the side and um that's going to give it just a little bit more of a erratic action to it. Uh, and depending on how you bend it up or bend it down, that's gonna impact how it swims in the water when you twitch your bait. And like I said, this right here, this is all you need. So you can do the more erratic, like twitch, twitch, pause, or twitch, 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 pause. Um, again, I kind of like to do a little bit more subtle uh, kind of motions with my rod tip. So fish it slow. There's a redfish following. Definitely a redfish following. So the cool thing with the Paul Brown is it also has like a faster sink rate than say like the MR27, the Mirrodines do. Um, so again, like even when I'm fishing in the winter time, the Paul Brown is like a go-to winter time lure because you can get that lure down like for us on the east coast um, our speckled trout and redfish they go deeper in the winter time to more of that consistent water temperatures so for the paul brown you know again you can you can work it up in the water column uh it does have a faster sink rate so you guys the paul brown lure um it's just i would say you absolutely have to add it to your arsenal and if you like fishing a jerk shad soft plastic uh you guys definitely try it out. But fishing over top of grass flats, uh, oyster beds or things like that, you guys definitely fish this Paul Brown. The last things that I'll say is you wanna fish this just like any other um, a jerk bait or hard plastic with treble hooks. Um, I like to use a softer rod tip. So I like a rod that has like a softer tip to it to absorb uh, just more of that uh, strike when the fish hits it because you've got the treble hook so you don't want to rip these hooks out save for like speckled trout uh, and even redfish and snook uh, you know those those fish you know they ain't coming to shop they're coming to buy so when they hit it you know you don't really even need to rip into their jaw too too much so treble hooks I like a sensitive rod tip I like to fish this on a lighter drag oh and then so for your line um, some people like to use a loop knot um i honestly i just use like a standard like clinch knot or a polymer knot uh that's just what i use on my jerk baits and um that really gets the job done but a lot of people will tell you that a loop knot does work best so honestly it's whatever you prefer whatever works for you uh, everybody's got their own style you guys paul brown you can you know add a little bit of your own flavor to it uh you can bend it and um these lures they last a really really long time as well so you guys paul brown it's awesome you can fish it in the summertime you want to fish it a little bit faster and then in the winter time you guys this right here is the epic winter time lure for those slow and lethargic fish and then in the fall we got the mullet run going on right now this profile is absolutely perfect so it's just a little bit more of an erratic action uh, for this lure all right so there it is people that's the paul brown lure and you've got the paul brown original and then you've got the paul brown fat boy right here and these are my two favorite colors the electric chicken and the mardi gras so these absolutely gets it done
So you guys, fish these. If you're wade fishing, fishing from a boat, um, these things are awesome. So one of the things that I forgot to mention is that these actually have like beads in them. So they have a little subtle vibration to them. So not only is the action awesome, you also get the beads in there that gives it a little bit more of that vibration to draw some uh, more strikes as well. Um, and also comment below, cause everybody's got their own style. That's just how I fish the Paul Brown. Uh, all y'all down in Texas and down in Florida fishing the flats. I'd love to hear y'all's comments and how you guys um, like to fish your Paul Brown. So if you guys also have any other suggestions on tutorials that you want us to do, make sure to drop us a line below. That's all I got for today, you guys. Peace out.